fly fishing is not an expensive sport. It can be. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll talk about today how fly fishing does not have to be an expensive sport as misconceived. So we'll talk about mostly the reels, the rods. Probably the most important component, your fly line. And then I'll talk briefly about your leaders and possibly some flies to get you started fly fishing in an inexpensive manner. So I hope you enjoy the video. There we go. Swallow that. Let me get that. There we go. Hold on there, bud. Could be a pack of perch down there. And uh, it's just a great way. I love to do this in winter. These are the reels I like to use. I think they're known as tuna can reels because obviously they're, <laughs> and you can make them with tuna cans. So they're about the size of a tuna can. They just have a click ratchet. And this is a Martin 61. Uh, I have a nice set of these with different lines on them. I get these for about 10 to $15 a piece. Uh, it's, the basically my primary reel I use unless I am using a automatic reel in freshwater applications for big fish for little fish for everything and uh, at that price I just keep a set of them so those are the reels I use um, modern day newer ones uh, I believe Martin makes a reel called the Caddis Creek it's probably gonna run you between 15 to 25 dollars uh, new you could probably find them anywhere uh if you're looking to buy things separate but there are combos available that is a brook child i think that's a little brookie very cool Said I'm using small rinse today. Fly fishing is not an expensive sport, as many believe. The tackle could be acquired for oh, less than $50, $50 uh, to start everything. They make combos, we'll talk about that. But uh, rods, the rods don't have to be expensive. You can get many, many uh, models and makes. I'm talking so I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Uh, you can get many makes and models of uh, fly rods uh, for, for relatively little money, $20. Um, a couple are, I believe it's the Eagle Claw makes one and I know several people that enjoy using that blank. Uh, one thing about the rods, freshwater fishing, a great weight to start with, keep in mind, keep in mind. A great weight to start with is five weight. But for a five weight rod or a five weight rod and reel combo it should have you covered for most fishing to get started and then you can get crazy as you get into it uh i use this is an older fluger i believe metalist blank the, the specs are worn off it's a five weight five weight setup uh, i acquired this for less than 80 dollars i believe um so it's, it's, it's a fair, fair, fair blank. But the, the, the blanks that they make these days are incredible for a little money. Uh, you can check out, like I said, the Eagle Claw, Featherlight, um, or, uh, Reddington, Orvis, uh, Fluger, even Shakespeare, um, whatever other brands. Uh, just, just keep your, your eye on five, six weight. 
and about those there, they make rod reel combos that will include line, leaders, tippets, flies, of course your rod and reel. Uh, you can check out brands such as Orvis, Reddington, Flug, all right, Fluger, Shakespeare, what's that? Then? The combo is a great way to get into introductory fly fishing. It does not have to be expensive to start at all. Uh, those combos will go for under, like I said, you probably can find them for under 50, 50 bucks. Uh, if you're looking to get something a little more exquisite, under 100 bucks. And you can always appear with a secret, you can always check out eBay. Uh, but definitely, you get like the rod reel combo, you can probably just start fishing right out of the pack. They'll come with everything, flies, line, leader, and whatnot. Uh, just great to get started with. And it's not going to be expensive. Fly fishing does not have to be expensive at all. Fly fishing is a great way just to relax, catch some fish, enjoy the scenery, just have a stellar day. Uh, behind me, no more fling. What is that? What is this? It's a big old shiner. Now, let's get it out of the way. Everything's grabbing the links right now. Nice shiner. Big one of the day. Great day speed. Uh, yeah, fly fishing does not have to be expensive. You can just keep your mind. There's a few people out. It's a beautiful, beautiful one of them. Just keep in mind uh, five weight fresh for fresh water. Um, you can pretty much go pick everything out with that. Um, from bass to those rhinos, tiny perch, trout, uh, sunfish, perch, pickerel, pike, and uh, great overall size to look at. So you can basically primarily remember you're going to be looking at a five weight. I do like a six weight. Oh, I just missed one. I like a six weight myself. But five weight, five, six weight is what you want to concentrate on. If you're not sure, pick up the combo. So let's talk about the fun part. And like I said, well, I'm going to say well, this video is primarily about your rod, reel, and your line. Uh, but the fun part of fly fishing is going to be your flies. They come in all forms, shapes, sizes uh, for different things. There's a lot of flies here. And uh, actually, I'm only using two particular flies today. Um, that's just a, I believe it's a light to hell, could be about a size 20, possibly, 18, somewhere in there, and a hair nymph. That's just what I'm using today. Um, like I said, the flies, they come in all forms, shapes, sizes, you can tie them, you can buy them. Uh, but one fly in particular I would like to talk about is, if you're starting in fly fishing, going to be the woolly bugger. Uh, here's the woolly bugger here. One fly, if you're new to fly fishing, the woolly bugger is just the fly to go with. Um, here's the woolly bugger here. A little smaller, different color. Um, you can make them to look like anything. You can even make them to float. There's some white woolly buckles. These I believe are about a size 12. Um, you can get into all kinds of other flies such as small streamers, dry flies, wet flies, worm flies, uh, feather flies, uh, all different jiggy flies. Uh, there's two sides to this. But the woolly bugger in particular is a great fly to look at when you start fishing. If I was fishing today with woolly buggers, possibly a size 12 size 14 micro bugger 
uh, such as this guy would do the trick uh, if I want to go bigger for bass I believe I have some on the other side of one of these packs and now I really buffer will do the job definitely for just anything uh, there's a chippy pass I think here we go I got bigger buggers here here's a a, a, a bass pickle size Woolly bugger, and they really they'll blow up right in the water. And ooh, actually, these ones here have done fairly well with stockers right where I'm fishing now. And you can see they're they're different sizes, different colors. Uh, your tie-in, want to get into tie-in? The woolly bugger, a uh, great great fly to make your first ties with. Like I said, all form, shape, sizes um, go from size 12 to a size 4, like I showed you. And you'll have the whole spectrum covered with one fly. Just incredible. But just take your fly fishing slow, and it does not have to be expensive. You can get those woolly buggers for under, put the stuff away. You can get all the boat loading bubbles you need for under a few bucks. So, just a good fly to start with. Do your research, your eating, fish your local water, uh, have fun. That's the key. What's that? What's that? Perches. Perches in here, and they seem to be liking that man. They're tight on the bottom, too. So, nymphs are great. They'll take about anything. And uh, great for, great for those days that just aren't too active. But the woolly buggers are just a great overall fly. Definitely will. Try to finish the night out with the bully bugger. Fishing does not have to be, it is not expensive, it does not have to be expensive. It's a beautiful sport to enjoy. And one of the probably the most important parts of your fly fishing is your fly line. Um, basically, you want to be looking, uh, I use mostly floating line, as you can see, line floats. Uh, and you want to match that with your rod setup. Basically, you want to match it with your rod setup. So if you're using a five-weight rod, um, a five-weight line, and those combos will come with line uh, to work with. And you can get into all kinds of fancy lines and whatnot. If you decide what you want to do, do some intro, just get the feel of the equipment to tackle. You pretty much so can do everything with that five, six-weight uh, setup that you're using. So again, fly fishing is, is not an expensive sport. Anyone can get into it. A couple few key concepts to look at. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Those parts are just running wild. Perch are hot today. They are keeping it busy, that is for sure. That's just a little, little area. And uh, again, fly 
fly fishing is not is not an expensive sport. It's all expensive as you want to make it. Like I said, fly fishing does not have to be expensive. Um, you probably want to look into leaders, uh, a couple of different leaders. Uh, that's a 6x, I think that's a 2x. Um, good sizes to get, cover your your bassy sizes. A 3x or a 2x, uh, you can cut them up or down to, to make them bigger. Uh, you'll have to add a tippet to make them smaller on the end. But a uh, 4x or a 5x is great for this kind of fishing. You could start tying right to that 5x with those smaller flies. Um, if you have that bigger leader, you're going to have to lay out some smaller tippet material uh, or a lighter line below it. But uh, there's some tapered leaders. Like I said, those combos should come with it. Oh, almost lost him. He looks like he's a shiner. I'm going to talk about tippets here quick. So we got shiners. Great sport on the fly. Okay. Got shiners. Hey, yep. We got perch, a lot of perch, and uh, a brook trout. But real quick talk and again the video I'm not going into detail but that is your leader uh, your leader is basically you put that in front of your tippet and you, in front of your you put your tippet in front of your leader it's just a um, monofilament line uh, to either extend your leader or use with the correct fly. I'm just showing you what it is. You can look for further detail. Uh, if it's too thick, it won't go to the eye of your fly. If it's too thin, um, yeah, your fly ain't gonna present itself right. Uh, all you need really is your leader, but your tippet will extend the length of your leader. I'll put them on top. And I cut my leaders up and down to make them to what I want, so I get a range. So if I had a 5X leader, I might drop on a 6 or a 7x tip top, uh, 2 pound, uh, to accommodate my fly. If I was using a, a leader and I needed a thicker, I would cut that leader higher up and start tying on my flies there, or put on a thicker tipper. But that's, you can look all that stuff up. This is all about, fly fishing is, is not an expensive sport, it should be enjoyable for all, it's a common misnomer. And I think we covered it all. Um, your rod, your reel. The primary thing to come out of here, look for five weight for freshwater setup. Uh, really bugger flies. Uh, definitely, you know, I'm fishing different today, but a little great fly to get started with. And uh, floating line. Definitely you want to use a floating style line. It's a jerry bird. I'm just kind of flicking those that nymph out and counting to a hundred. Sinking really slow with that fly on top. Keeping an eye on my line. See if there's any movements. Something big takes it. You see that line straighten right out. Just enjoying the sights, the sounds. Winter fishing. Warm day. Warm, warm, warm day. That's that's a perch hole in here. We're gonna finish out the night fish until it gets dark and walk back and uh, I hope you enjoy your journey into fly fishing take it slow take it easy 
have fun with it and just enjoy 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 the fishing thanks for watching